morning guys welcome back to another vlog i am getting back into my routine this week which i feel like i'm always doing but hey not a bad thing i miss my early morning walks i will be honest i am having such a hard time waking up early this week i mean it's only tuesday but like i could not get up until like 7 30 and i wanted to be up at 6 30 because i like being on my walk at 7. something about the weather changing makes it so much harder for me to wake up in the morning and then also this past weekend was just so much it was crazy and i have like no energy and then suddenly i'm so tired the other day and then at night i'm wide awake so i gotta fix that so today is tuesday yesterday i didn't vlog i'm on my way to to walk Katie Trail and then I'm also gonna go to Foxtrot that just opened there which is so exciting because you guys know the Starbucks at Knox Anderson hates me I'm glad I don't have to go in there anymore and bother them you know if y'all are new here subscribe today I have a vanity being installed I have curtains I have at least the curtain rod being hung up I'm gonna do a closet refresh. I'm gonna do a little Princess Polly haul. Actually, we'll do that right now. Thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. Hi, y'all. We're gonna be doing a little Princess Polly haul. It is nighttime as I'm filming this. I just, for whatever reason, have been having so much energy at night. Romany Housewife water bottle, best thing ever. Okay, so we're doing a haul from Princess Polly. So thank you, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this video. I will have my discount code on the screen. You can get 20% off by using this. I love Princess Polly because it ships so fast. It ships within the United States. There's free express shipping, which is three to four days, to the US on orders over $50. They also offer afterpay and shop pay to all US customers, and they're just the best. So I'm gonna do a little haul before I put these clothes away because I'm very excited about them. These pants are sick. You have to trust the vision. These like with something with height, the tight top, like so cute for fall. I love them. I have them in a different color and they're also just like really comfortable. Okay, I also got these brown trousers, which I wanted to try these at a more affordable price point, aka from Princess Polly, because I've been seeing them everywhere and I've seen them get a little bit pricey. I didn't even know how much I was gonna wear them and I love them. It kind of feels like you're wearing sweatpants, but they're dressy, so I'll be wearing these literally all the time also my favorite color they're very flattering flannels are back okay i feel like i'm a sophomore in high school again going to a bonfire i just i love this i will have all these like below of course i think it's so cute just to like pair with anything like i am obsessed i'm so happy about this guys i mean like i love it i like literally love it it's so cute. It's perfect. It's literally the perfect flannel. Like, perfect. All right, guys. Hear me out. This skirt is the skirt, and this top is the top. This is one of those tops that you buy and you keep for years because it's so classic. It looks, like, way more expensive than it is. It's a nice little off-the-shoulder moment. I mean, it is perfect. Like, literally the perfect top. And this skirt, I can't describe it, but it's just so soft, and it's really flattering. I'm super picky about skirts in general um and i just think it's really cute i picture this outfit honestly together and then also with knee high boots like it's just oh my god i love it's fabulous these pants i am in love i know they're probably not for everyone but they're like super on trend right now i mean especially this summer but like oh my god i just I love them. They're so comfortable and I think they're so cute and weirdly like very flattering because it still like cinches in right here. But if you're looking to try this trend, I mean, now is your time. I also look like Kim Possible right now. And my ringtone is Kim Possible because my initials are KP, you know? Anyways, love these pants. Like they're so cool. Okay, so this is the perfect like little black dress. It's also awesome because it like cinches back here and you can tie it. I just haven't tied it. So it actually can give you like the perfect fit. I just, I can't do this right now as hell. So cute, like so perfect. The quality is incredible. It's super flattering. And again, like the perfect little black dress, but you're still showing a little bit of skin. So cute. Out of everything in this haul, this is one of the dresses I was the most excited for. It's this like really cute brown shimmery fabric. 
and then you have an open back. I personally love this fit of a dress. I love a long sleeve on a dress. It's one of those clothes or like just items in general that I feel the most confident in. Anyways, this is so fun. This is even like a fun take, like we're really getting ahead of ourselves now, on a New Year's Eve outfit. It's a little bit different than your typical stuff, like color wise, but I just think it's so cute. Like I will be wearing this out to girls' dinners with like tights and boots throughout the fall and winter underneath coats. It's so cute. How many times Guys, how many times can I say so cute? I need to like work out my vocabulary. Okay, like speaking of coats, I wouldn't necessarily pair these two things together, but as you guys can tell, brown is my favorite color, brown and pink, and this jacket is something I cannot believe I didn't already own. Just a like brown, like fake leather trench coat. So cute. I mean, it makes every outfit like look more dressed up. This with some denim, a little t-shirt, some Uggs, you know? Like I love... I love this look. Now this dress, this is what I've been waiting to arrive since I put this order in, okay? Oh my god. Honestly, if you buy anything from this haul, like buy this. I don't know if you can really... Like it is... Oh my god, it's so perfect. Now again, I love this. I would wear like different things underneath it. But a long sleeve blue dress. Again, it's backless. This is one of the fits that I just feel the most confident in. And it is so cute the quality is incredible the fabric is just like a little bit thicker so it feels a little bit more like flattering also you can like kind of cinch it at the stomach a little bit which always makes me like feel a little bit more comfortable but this dress it like it snatches you in like it feels incredible okay i love this blazer dress with some tights and boots every single time i go about shoes i do that but i think it's really cool i'm kind of like getting over not fully over, but like a little bit over my blazers. Besides like my recent ones that I got, kind of moving past it. I'm kind of over a blazer dress, but for whatever reason, this one just like really called me and I love it. So I think it's super cute. Okay, I can't zip this all the way myself, but I love this. Obviously it's my favorite color and I've been loving dresses that cut down like right here for whatever reason. This one's also like a good length. It's not too short and it's my favorite color. So this is going to be like a staple, I feel like, in my wardrobe. I just love it. I mean, this dress is just so cute. I would tie it better up here. But even wearing this with sneakers and going on a walk, I mean, it's just perfect. Adding a little long sleeve and like making it a skirt. I just think it's like a more fun twist on like a tennis dress, basically. But like there's more that you can do with it. Even like honestly, you dress it up. Like, I don't know. It's just like perfect see even I don't know like the way it cuts like everything about it and then if I were to like hold it up better and that last but not least because I pretty much always have to wear or get a dress that I can wear with cowboy boots I mean I'm wearing it all of that with cowboy boots but this is more of like a country look I picked up this dress chocolate brown floral the cut is amazing it's super flattering really breathable really comfortable I love it so if you guys want to check out any of these looks or fits i will or items i will have everything linked below and you guys can use my code that is on the screen right now for 20 percent off love princess polly i'm like honestly this is like my favorite haul from princess polly i've ever done like that is how i feel about these clothes hope you guys enjoy love you guys so much and uh let's get back to the vlog have my code now it is kenzie for 20 percent off literally already wearing this coat again kenzie 20 percent off Okay, so it's gonna be like getting back into my routine, closet refresh, we're gonna be cooking from home, we're doing the things. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm listening to a podcast, and also something I also wanted to say. When I'm feeling this way and I'm really tired and I don't wanna leave my house and I don't wanna do anything and I don't wanna be productive, getting up and going on a morning walk just does something to me. It gets, it makes me even more productive and gets me out of my head sometimes even more than just like a normal workout does. It is a game changer. I get so like zoned in and focused that I like literally think I'm gonna run for mayor and then maybe president, you know? I'm going to the coffee shop. Right, guys I finished my morning walk I went to Foxtrot this morning it was so cute and it's been haunting me because I went there and I was just like not awake and there's problems with my car okay like when I'm talking to people I'm like really bubbly and like so like nice and just like friendly like very Texan and I was just really tired and quiet 
So now I'm afraid they think I'm rude. But I just like couldn't muster up the thing. And it wasn't rude, obviously. I'm not gonna be rude, but I was just like normally I'd be like, oh my god, you're so fine, whatever. I was like, oh you're good. Like, I don't know guys. Like I have been thinking about it for the past hour and a half. I almost walked back in there. But I was like, that would probably be really even more embarrassing because they probably thought nothing of it. Like I make everything more dramatic in my head. And if I'm not like rolling out a red carpet for people and like sacrificing myself, I like think I'm not nice enough, it's probably like being a girl. Um, but anyways, if you were in that foxtrot, um, I'm really sorry it wasn't over the top nice but it was so nice like this has to be like a girl thing you know what i mean i was just really tired and there was problems with like the gift card and i didn't have my card on it so i'd be like i just was like switched to apple pay or whatever but i was just like you know when you go somewhere and you're like i'm not even awake that's what happened to me anyways it's 9 a.m gonna go vote all right guys i voted it took me under i would say like 10 minutes in and out to vote i went to the samuel grand what is it called this is where i voted for the 2020 election Samuel Grand Recreational Center. I don't know if it's too late by the time this vlog goes up, but get out and vote. It's very, very important. And this is where I like go to vote because it's so quick every time. So anyways, I'm heading home. I have a task rabbit coming to set up my vanity. I'm very excited. Also, everyone here was so nice. And now I feel awake. All right, y'all, we're gonna see a true closet transformation today. This is overstuffed. I haven't fully moved my like summer clothes over for my winter and fall. I also have gone through my tops like so many times and I just, I don't know, I still need to go through those honestly, even though I've gone through them so many times. I also want to film an entire like fall essential clothing video just because I feel like that is like where I thrive the most. So let me know if y'all guys, if y'all guys, oh my God, if y'all would be interested. Also look at me. I feel like such an adult, like, going and voting by myself. I mean, I know I've obviously done it many times at this point, but, well, I guess not many. Elections, like, no, I mean, I'm not old enough to have voted in, like, many yet, you know what I mean? But, I feel mature and responsible. Also, these ones have got to go. So, I have curtains coming, and I thought they were going to be delivered by today, and I don't think that they are. But I've got to move the dresses over, even, honestly, the shorts over. I'm not wearing them. My pink dress has fallen. And I've got to go through my other master closet because that just has like a bunch of like hoodies and crews and stuff. And like I don't wear all of them and I'd rather like, especially when it's about to get cold, I'd rather donate them to people who need them. So that is what is happening. And then in about 30 minutes, my task rabbit is coming over. By the way, I can link a task rabbit code. This is like not sponsored, obviously at all, for task rabbit. But I can link a code and you guys will get like $50 off. And you can use that for like cleaning your house or a random task like mounting TVs, furniture assembly, all that stuff. Dom also left her things here. That's so nice and kind of her. These are my dresses and a few pairs of shorts that I'm trying to move over. A few of them I will keep in like the fall and winter section. And this is after I've gotten rid of a bunch or like donated a bunch. I don't get rid of it. I donate or give it to friends, but it's a lot. What is really a lot though is this closet as always. I just have so many hoodies and crews and just things that it's just too much, you know? And I need to switch it over, so I'm gonna go through. And then anything I'm donating, I'm gonna put in a basket and go from there. All right, this is what I have so far. I like did something to my neck and it hurts so bad. I can't move fully and I'm in pain. But I got rid of a ton of stuff. I also moved my summer dresses in here. As you can see, it's a lot more clear. I need to go through this stuff. And even this stuff, because stuff just like piles on and that needs to be taken care of. But this is looking a lot better. Way more reasonable amount thing is I live in sweats like constantly. Um, I just had too many and I needed, you know, my go-tos. My go-tos are like literally breadwinning housewife stuff, like the Navy set, sorry guys. Unless like there's enough comments and requests to restock this, like we have no plans to. Um, but like I know it just depends like I know you guys really want this Maybe I can talk them into like restocking for Christmas because for whatever reason y'all love the blue set It feels a lot better in here I made some soup for lunch and my task rabbit just left and I am in pain. It is like so painful and we have some not so great news. So I need to vacuum up this mess. The actual vanity doesn't fit here, even though I measured it. So I'm like very confused. So I'm thinking I might put the vanity back here, but that's annoying in front of here. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Or I just like won't close this. Like guys, I actually like really don't know what I'm gonna do. 
I measured. Like, I have no idea how this happened. Okay, so this is what we have, and it isn't amazing, but at least I get a vanity. I would much rather have it in the other location, but, and I also have to, like, figure out how I can get the lights, too. Or, like, the lamp or light or whatever to stand up. <sighs> at least I have this. God, my neck hurts so bad. And I do have my drapes or my new curtains coming in today, which I feel like is going to make it look even weirder over here. But the room is like a smaller room and there's only so much I can do. The thing is with this closet, I can open it m most of the way. And then over here, it's like these open enough. Like I don't really need them to open any more than they do. They're totally fine, it's not affected. It just obviously isn't super ideal. I'm just really confused because I measured so many times. And the actual vanity itself is nice. Like I think, this is from Vanity Impressions, I think they all look like a little bit tacky. But it's just kind of like what you got to do. Um, and it's really well made, I will say. And I want to kind of change these. I was going to get white and then I was like, no, I want to do black. It's a little bit different. I think it was going to go over there. But now that I'm going to have these curtains here, I wish I would have done white. I think it's going to be fine. I want this to be kind of like a fun, eclectic, random room. It is what it is. At least I have this vanity. I need to set up a speaker in here and then just like really have a time with it, but I can film so many more like get ready with me things and makeup and just chats and like whatever. And yeah, it's great. Oh my God, guys, I just like can't, oh, I also got this stool, which is just like a really random, like doesn't matter stool from Amazon. Um, and then it just like slides under and fits under here really well. My rug is being dried. I actually probably can go grab that. So I'm gonna go do that. This definitely makes the room look better and lighter. I like this, I brought up a marshmallow fireside candle. Hopefully, curtains come soon. hours later because I have been in pain and laying in bed but I've iced my shoulder enough that I thought I could put my curtains up and I actually love them I'm watching one of my videos right now because I'm improving it and that's what the mirror like standing on this um this can move over a little bit but I just like I love this room it's giving everything I needed yes it's a little crammed but honestly, not a problem. I might even like put some of my makeup here while I still have the energy. I've been getting so much energy at night. I was picking out outfits for the shoot tomorrow. We're shooting the Okine Puff Bag that we're releasing in December. So sign up for our texts and our emails and follow us on Instagram because that's how you get like early access and stuff. I've seen all, by the way, so many nice messages about this bag. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. I'm like obsessed with it. And I will be wearing it literally all the time, but I'm trying not to wear it like too much right now just because it's not available and I feel like that's like so annoying. Um, I just have some sweaters that I'm pulling and some tights and just some certain looks. I don't know where my Prada loafers are now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know where those are and I don't know where my brown blazer is. All right, I am so into this vibe. It's giving my room when I was a child and that's all that I wanted. I have some prints that I've looked at and picked out too. Oh my god, ow. I, I can't describe it. Like, I've never thrown my back out, but I think that the, I, or it's like a disc in my neck. I think that's what it is because I haven't suggested and she just came over to do some stuff for the O-Kind. But like, if I move the wrong way, that's why, I don't know if you guys saw, I probably looked so awkward when I was putting that up. Anyways, I'm just like... It's not the vibe, not the vibe at all. But I thought I would just like put some of my makeup up here. My makeup bags are not gonna work, so I'm gonna need to like do something. I got these two organizers as well from um, imp Vanity Impressions. I'm gonna put some of this away. I'm proof reading a vlog. Also, I went back to using the Morphe Mini Contouring Setting Mist. This stuff is so good and I cannot believe I ever stopped using it. Um, I have all my stuff in my Sony Clover bags, like literally all of it. I'm gonna need to order more organization stuff, so I'm also gonna do that today. I don't want that. I need to get like a makeup brush like thing. Here are my powders. Yeah, I put my powders. The Charlotte Tilbury one though is like such a buzz though because it doesn't fit in anything ever. I also have dims. I've been loving dims. I guess we're just gonna go through what's in my makeup bag while we're here. Guys, I'm so excited to like film Get Ready With Me videos like that's gonna be so fun 
mascara, face stuff, foundations, more beauty blender probably like needs its own thing. I would think. Dang it, that's like not working. Foundation. Ooh. Sure. I'm not even doing. Oh wait, this is gonna have to take more. Dang, this is like not working. I'm not even doing my makeup tomorrow because I'm getting it done for our shoot by Kristen, who is by like my all-time favorite makeup artist. She's also Presley's sister, but she's my fave. And I've been getting DMs from y'all that you have gone to her and that you also loved her and she's like your favorite makeup artist ever and you've never like felt or looked better. And that's how I would describe it if y'all are in, ooh, this is not good. Love that. If y'all are in Dallas, you need to hire her or, or Actually, I don't think she travels, but she's really good. Maybe she does. I don't know. Okay. This isn't, like, super organized, but, like, it's gonna get the job done for the time being. Oh, yeah, I haven't used this Milk Makeup blush yet. I actually really do like Milk Makeup. I love this Laura Mercier highlighter. You know what I really love? This Dior blush. I think this went viral because everyone thought this was the blush that Kylie Jenner used, and then it came out that it wasn't the blush she used. But I love it, okay? It's very good. It's a really pretty bright pink. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. Guys, I love this. Like, I feel like Desi Perkins right now. Oh, the Rare Beauty Blush in Happy. If you don't have this, I mean, you really, really, really need that. The Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. It's the best mascara you will ever use. Literally ever. The wand is very strong, so I would be careful and don't stab yourself in the eye. But that's a me problem, that's not a them problem, you know? Oh, I also love this. I'm gonna put this in another Sony Clover bag that I have for the shoot tomorrow. So, I'm not even gonna be needing my travel makeup carrier unless I, like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna need it. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like I'm, like, 50 and I have back problems. Great. I also ordered Taco Bell, and I was, like, already clearing up my breakouts, and I just ordered Taco Bell, so, like... It is what it is. It's never a decision that I'm like happy about after. But like when you want Taco Bell, there's nothing you can do. You just have to get it. Like, I don't make the rules. Good morning, guys. I just got up at seven, finally. Here is my outfit. I'm going to get a blowout for the shoot later today. And honestly, my arm hurts so. I know I sound so stupid. I have extensions. If you know your hair washing day with extensions, there's just no way that was gonna happen. I'm gonna get some coffee, maybe from Merit on the way. Here is my look. I'm trying to drink a bunch of water before I have coffee in the morning. It's not really happening, but I'm trying. Here's a look. I love my new curtains. I need to take the blinds down. I hate them. Um, but these pants are the most comfortable pants I've ever worn in my entire life. I'm wearing a size small. <laughs> Alright guys, I just got my blowout. I just did something very simple. I wanted like the ends rounded and I feel like it always falls out of my hair. But if there is one thing I hate doing it is my hair. And it just, oh. For whatever reason, my Barfly membership stopped and I just revamped it because I am in the era of my hair health. My hair has thinned out so much since COVID and also dying it, I'm sure but I'm just trying to really take care of it and I want to wash it a lot less. Like I want to be that girl who washes it once a week. That's very difficult seeing as how I work out all the time, but like I'm gonna figure it out because one, washing my hair and drying it takes so long. And two, I want to be that girl and I want my hair to be as healthy as possible, which I will not, I'm gonna keep dying it because I just like it right now, but I, and back on my blowout kick. I think I might go like every Thursday or something and just like keep it, maybe rinse it with like apple cider vinegar on like a Monday if I have to, but I'm gonna be trying my best. I'll be training my hair to look better. So that is the that is what we're doing. I'm heading home. So today I'm going to the Amen Clinic. This is before the shoot. I have been a fan of Dr. Amen for, I mean, probably like four or five years. I love that man. I read all of his books. Yes, I still drink, but I'm very interested in brain health. And they have these things called like spec scans and I'm getting a brain scan and then we're going through it all today. It's going to be 
recorded so I'm sure I'll be posting it like somewhere whenever I get the footage and then I think they're doing a whole video on their YouTube channel I am very excited and then I come back from that and makeup will have already started at my house for our shoot tonight for the puff bag so I am really just all month today I'm very excited the actual like scan thing is gonna take like four hours I think so I'll be there for a bit the scan will take four hours the scan will happen then they'll get the results and they're gonna go over the results with me for like an hour and a half very excited. All right, I'm back from my blowout. Here we go. Nothing crazy, just like an easy, simple blowout. Wow. I had this like revelation this morning. Something I really, really wanna do. I want to rent a house in Dallas. I really ideally would like to rent a house in Dallas within the next couple months for the Oakline so we actually have like space there. Everything right now is out of my garage and we luckily like we're doing not like small batches but like the way that we do our drops things sell so it's not like we have all the inventory in there at once but it's definitely like not ideal and also I would just like to have that separate from my house I feel like I don't know at night I would like to like wind down and not have that you know what I mean and more than that, I really want like a podcast studio because I'm going to start doing a lot more like solo episodes or I even would like to like record my intros like when I do those and I would like to have them in a cute room and like design it and maybe like work with someone, hire like an interior designer or someone that would be like good or like honestly even like a person who makes sets. Like I would really, really like to do that. So... Updates to come, I will keep you guys posted, but I just think that needs to happen in the next year. I need to like also go through, like re-go through like my vision board because I just feel like I am, uh, what's the word of me? I feel like kind of like overwhelmed and like I'm finally home and then I'm like, but well, what do I want? And I feel like I'm not being as like specific about the things that I want. And then I'm getting hard on myself again. I feel like I talk about this all the time, but I'm like, oh my God, I've done nothing. I've achieved nothing, my life sucks, my career sucks, whatever. And then I like, honestly, a lot of the time I'm in my closet room, it like really inspires me. And I'm like, I cannot believe this is my closet. And like, I can't believe that this is my life and I'm so grateful. And I'm like, I have done a lot. Like I, these, I'm like in the days, you know, everyone's like, you're like in the days that you've like manifested or prayed for, like whatever you believe. And I'm like, I am there. So like, why, why does it never feel like it's enough? You know what I mean? And like, obviously I know why, like that's not what like fulfills me. And like, well, I, I know the answers, but sometimes I just get in my head, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna get dressed. Hope you guys liked um, my little rant there, but uh, I've got a lot going on today. I have to be honest with you. I feel very cool right now. Like look at this outfit. This jacket from Princess Polly is incredible. Like, update my shoulder still hurts, but this uh, jacket, incredible here's my outfit to go get a brain scan all right y'all i just got out of my appointments i got my brain scan i have my appointment the whole thing is filmed so it will be on their youtube channel and then i'll be sharing clips on like other things as well but it was really cool i'm gonna show you guys a really quick way to kind of brush my hair they gifted me a book change your brain change your life i have this book i've read it but i cannot remember where it, where it is and i need to read it again, I actually like reading Dr. Amon's books like physically as well. It's like the one author that I'll read physically and also like I can share this book around. There's so many books. I love Dr. Amon. I don't know if I said this. Yes, he's the one who's on the Kardashians. If you watch my vlogs in like 2020, early 2021, I was obsessed with him. Like I still am, but classic. I just like always listen to his podcast. I listen to every podcast he's on. I just like love this man. So we did a brain scan. This is the average. This is like things that you guys, I don't know if you care about, but this is the average brain. That's a female at my age, okay? And this is mine. Oh wait, no, this is an average. This is my brain. This is, wait, where's the average? Oh, I don't have the average one. Maybe they just don't want to make me feel bad about, bad about myself. Just no, oh no, here we go. Healthy, expect active view. And then here's mine. So yeah, I'm going back on meds. Um, I'm like literally not even kidding. I already have been prescribed. Um, but it's cool because they don't just like go straight to meds. It's like I do everything that you could ever possibly do to like help my anxiety, like holistically. Um, besides I guess being like completely sober, but I, 
yeah, I don't know. It was a really cool, really great experience. I was so happy to be there, and the video will be up soon at some point. I actually don't know when it's gonna be up, but I will share it when it's up, and I'll tell you guys in the vlogs too. So I'm heading back. Makeup starts at my house in 20 minutes for our shoot for the O kind. Okay, Kenzie's getting her makeup done. A nice little setup over here, and there's Coco. Truly a vlogger. <laughs> Look at you go. What can I say? Yeah. I learned from the best. All right, guys, we made it to the studio. Here is my first look. It's very like holiday luxe. There's even a Christmas tree here, so we're gonna take a little Christmas card um, and then shoot some like holiday stuff. I cannot get over my makeup. Kristen did such a good job. If y'all are in Dallas, Kristen Ferrer makeup, best ever. I'm not kidding. Like she's literally incredible. So we're shooting at the puff bag. Jessica, do you want to model it? Our little model over here who's currently going Instagram Reels viral. Love that oh, we bag. love, yeah, it's really cute. It's so nice, you guys. It is the best bag ever. It's like a puffer jacket, but like a bag. It's incredible. Love. We just wrapped. We're carrying so much stuff. We need to hire a shoot assistant that handles the stuff and then also can make TikToks. We don't have enough stuff we for that to be like a full we job for the day. Have, also, we don't have enough hands. Yeah, we don't literally don't have enough hands. Like we just need, but like we wouldn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I know what you mean. I know exactly. What but you we mean. don't have like enough on either end to, for that to be like right, full. Be a combo. Yes. Just like a helper. A little helper. Anyways. We just finished. We shot with Heather, our favorite photographer ever. Yeah, we literally love her. Heather, we love her. Samantha, Kristen, Heather we have too. a great team in Dallas. Like, we really do. Yeah, it's just. I have no interest in shooting anywhere else because. Love Texas, you know? Yeah, it's literally the best. Sound good to be saying that. I know, look at you. You're such a Texas girly these yeah, days. I got re rendered by a Texan the other day, so we're amazing. Damn. Well, <laughs> your car looks fine. No, it's, it's really not fine. Oh. All right, I am back from the shoot. I love my makeup look. Like, Kristen killed it. Anyways, I wanted to give y'all a little update of the closet refresh. This is stuff that I pulled for the shoot, so I need to put all of this stuff away tonight. It's like 8 p.m. and I'm about to work in here. I think I actually might use this kind of as a desk. I need to record, send footage in, do a bunch of like emails and stuff for a bit. So I'm about to do that. Um, over here, the next thing that I'm really gonna organize will be the tops again. This stuff kind of needs to be organized. It's just like overflowing. There's too much stuff here. So we ignore all that. I also need to go do like my summer and winter workout stuff. This is just such a big project that it's been take, it's taken a while, okay? Pants are overflowing because this dress is right there. So like, wow, yes, there is, this is the closet refresh. It's also like really intense, okay? Puffers, vests, sweaters up here. And then over here, I just have all my coats and stuff, and then my boots, my boot closet. I actually have a guy that is going to build it for me now, so he is coming over hopefully within the next few days. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, a little closet refresh vlog, a little brain scan. Again, thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this vlog. I will have everything linked below as well as my code for 20% off. Love you guys so much, and I will talk to you tomorrow in the next vlog. Okay, bye. Um, it is a night owl, and I am a morning person. Yes. It's one of the billion ways that we are like quite literally the exact opposite. Um, and Dom woke me up this morning. I I was I I kept turning over, kind of looking at Kenzie. I could tell, and I was like, "No, I'm sleeping." Yeah, I was like, "Okay, she's gonna sleep," and I love that. I wish you would do that more.